Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back. So today is going to be a tutorial on how to do a couple things with the We Are Memory Keepers button press. Um, <laughs> I bought this like three years ago. I bought a bunch more and I sold them. And guess what? I never used mine <laughs> until the other day. Um, I think I sold my last one that I had in stock and I thought, you know what, I need, I was talking to the person that bought it and I said, I need to get out mine and use it. And so I, I actually did it. I actually got it out and figured out how to use it. And wow, I love it. Why did I wait three years to use it? Dang. <laughs> so anyway, so when you get the button make, I have the bundle is what I have. And it comes with the, um, the cutting plates down here, um, that you need to, um, to do the actual die cutting of the piece of paper and then it also comes with a large and a medium and a small set so you get the different size um you can do different size buttons this is a large um it's about two and two and oh probably like three eighths or so wide okay then you got the medium so here's the medium ones. Now these are done with paper. Okay. And the medium one is about oh, one and a half across. And then here's a bunch of the smalls. I just love them. They turned out so cute. Um, I took the button part off the back. So, cause I didn't want to pin it onto anything. I, I took the pin out of it is what I should say. And you can either leave it in if you're going to pin it on something. If not, just take that pin part off. So there's a, I made a bunch of these. So I've already, <laughs> I've already used up all of my, the kits usually come with um, 10, enough to make 10 of each of the sizes. So um, I just did a couple, I just did one of the big ones because I don't anticipate using this very much. Um, and I just made a couple of the mediums, but of course I'll be using a ton of the smalls. So I've already used up everything that I had in the smalls. Um, so I need to order the replacement things to be able to make some more now these ones these are mediums also but these ones i just used i used fabric on them so that turned out real well too this this is a dollar tree fabric that cute little bunny one and this is a piece that i got um it was like some little squares that my friend i think my friend deborah sent them to me and uh so they were fairly thin and but they fit right over. It was like fabric paper, so they fit right over. Now this one is also a fabric paper, um, but it's a little bit thicker and it was a little bit harder to do. Um, but you just gotta make sure you press down real hard as you're doing it. So you make sure you get the seal on the back all the way around. So make sure it, you know, snug, it's snug down inside there. Okay, but how beautiful. So these don't have the plastic on top. I just, used, cause I was doing fabric, I didn't, use the fabric part on, I mean the plastic piece on top, like you can see on this one, how it's shiny. That's a little plastic piece that goes over the top. Okay. So you can do that. So after I, well actually before, I saw these other things. And since I got this out and played with it and it, they turned out so well, <laughs> and I've been so in love with them. I got the, um, I had seen these on a video um, when they were doing the release for them. And it's, uh, it's a puppy sticker and a shaker shape insert. Okay, so I bought the, this is the, like the pack that you need that has the die and stuff. So what you get in the pack is you get this die that you need. This is what you need to cut the, the paper. Okay, so it's gonna cut your shape and it is this scalloped, okay. You get this piece, which is, what do they call it? Um, I think they call it the insert. Uh, I think they call it the insert. Um, but anyway, it's this two piece thing. And it just goes like that. You get a enough to make five of the puppy sticker and five of the shaker. So this is the piece that you use for um, the puffy and then you also use this which is just a um, the shape and it's um, has um, sticky on it okay and then you also get these which is the part that you need to make when you make the shakers okay 
And then of course you get the directions, okay? So I thought I would come on and share with you real quick how to actually use this. It's so easy. I mean, maybe you guys have been hesitant on using yours like I had. And I, you know, I didn't figure it was very hard because we are memory keepers. Things are pretty easy to use. So sorry, this is about as far as I can get away from my thing, from my, um, <laughs> from my handle. So it's probably going to be sticking up here. So uh, maybe I can turn it towards me so you don't see it so bad. There we go. Okay. So what you're going to do to use this. So you this part spins out. This is what you, even for your just regular button press, this is the, um, the die cutting pieces that you use. The other pieces that you, that comes in the button press set is to make the different size circle. So it's like the die cut, same thing, the die cuts that, um, you make your sizes. Now I put a little bit of sticky on here because when I watched, um, Erica's video on how to use hers when she did the, she did a tutorial a couple years back. And so she recommended to help it stay in place to put just like a little strip of adhesive right there. So it helps to hold your paper in place while you're die cutting so it doesn't uh, move. So I did do that. I didn't have a whole lot of trouble with it moving, but you know, I'll probably, now that I know how to do it, I'm probably gonna, you know, get that off. Um, but, and then this piece here is the top piece of the cutting plate and that just fits underneath here. And I'm not, I don't know if I can be able to show you this part very well, but let me just kind of tip it. Okay, so I just put this right up here. Okay, like that. There's these little things that poke down. There's four of them. And you just line those up and it just fits up in there. And then this is just like that. And you just set it down in there. Okay. And this does spin. Okay. All right, so what you do, let's go ahead and make one. And let's make the... Um, Let's make the puppy one first. So the first thing you're gonna do is take this piece, which is the actual die. You can see that that's the die. Okay, and then take out the, um, so take a piece of paper that you want to use. <clears throat> and what you do is just kinda, just kinda cut around it and be careful. I tried to get too close to mine <laughs> on one of them and I actually kinda nicked the foam part of the, know of the of the die <laughs> so you don't want to do that I mean it's on the very edge so it's not affecting it but still you don't want to do it so now you just you have just kind of loosely cut around there so that's gonna I'm gonna put this in here and this is gonna cut my shape out for me so now I'm gonna just swing that back in there and I'm gonna press down on my handle and I'm gonna do it when you do the die cutting part you need to do it a couple times and I take my finger down here and see how I'm spinning that bottom piece, spinning it just a little bit. So you make sure you get it even cut. And you do this when you just do the regular shapes too, when you're using your regular thing. Okay, sorry, it's gonna shake the whole table, but then you just spin it out. Okay, pull this up and there's my shape. Okay, I didn't get it quite all the way, but okay, so it just cuts that shape out of there. Okay, so there I have it. Okay, so the next step is to take one of these that comes in your, in your kit and it has, um, it's hard to see, I had a hard time really seeing it at first, but there are two layers of sticky. Okay, so what it says to do is remove, there's a plain circle here in the middle. And so you just need to kind of, you know, bend it and find the edge so that you can pull up that sticky. Now there's also on the outside where the scallop part is, there's also a little slit right there that's going to help you per, uh, peel that when it's time. Okay. But it was, <laughs> I, I had a hard time seeing, but then, you know, I have to wear, you know, glasses to see things up close. So anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is peel this centerpiece off. Okay. And then we're going to take one of these foam circles. Take that out of here, okay? And this, you just put it down right in the center. In that center of the piece you just peeled, okay? So there, it is peeled. Okay, and then the next thing you do is 
um, peel off this outer ring of sticky. So the first time when I did my, the first one I did that I couldn't see the outside ring, when I couldn't see that there was a, you know, a slit here, so it made it easy. I was trying to, you know, like peel up from, you know, the side to get it separate. And I kind of like peeled up some of the glue, <laughs> some of the sticky. So I had to kind of, um, I took a piece of, uh, what do you call it? Um, Double-sided tape and just took a little strip where I had peeled it off and stuck that back down so that my, so I wouldn't ruin it. My whole thing, you know, would work still. So now these, all the sticky is exposed. This part here is a sticky. This is just, these are just foam circles. Okay. Then what you do is you take this apart. Okay. And you just um, set this, you know, line up your little scallops here and you set that down inside there. Okay. And then you put your um, paper that you're going to use. Okay. You're going to set it with the side that you want to see up. Okay. So the mine's double sided, but I want this side to show the pink side to show. So I'm just going to kind of line up the little scallops again like that, put it in there. And then you put this back on and you can see there's, it's just scalloped all around, but on each side, there's two little things and you just line these two little things up with that and just sit it down in there. So it's just kind of sit down in there. Okay. Then you put this back here on your, your, where you would die cut. So you just leave it all. There's no changing anything. You just stick that in there. Okay. And now you just kind of press down. Now this one's going to be a little bit different. If you have, um, you know, from like when you do the die cutting, you really want to press down. And um, when you, when you're using the other plate, you'll hear it like crack and stuff. You don't want to press that hard on this because you're not, this part you're not die cutting and you're not, and you're not, um, you're not like trying to make the metal bend. All you're doing is just kind of, you know, it's all foam in there. So it doesn't take a ton of pressure. So then you just spin it back out. If you, and I, like, like I did before, I, once I had it in there, I kind of spun it. I think I did, I was talking. I don't know if I showed you that I spun it and then, you know, press down a little bit, spin a little bit, press down a little bit. Okay. And then pull your thing out. Okay. Take this, pull this up, and it just um, pops out. There's a little hole in the bottom, so you can, if it doesn't pop right out, just push the hole. And oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I am in love with this. Oh, I think this is so cute. And this is not decorated anything. I mean, you could just use this like it is. You could make a center for a flower. You could make a... Um, uh, like a prize ribbon have this be the center and on the top you could put it in the center of a bigger rosette I mean you could decorate this up and just have it be like an embellishment it is so cute and look at that dimension isn't that neat this is what the back looks like okay and I can't remember if the, I don't I don't think the back is sticky but I can't remember for sure I don't remember it saying that so I don't think it is but you know just glue it down or tape it down or whatever you want to do Look how cute that is. I love it. So I did this one. <clears throat> These are a couple others that I already did trying it out. Let me show you. Look how cute. And then this one. Look at that. Look at that dimension. And oh, I just love it. Turned out so cute. So there's a couple of those that I did. Okay. So also in the kit, you get... Well, that comes, you know, that these these pieces come, and then you also get the pieces to do shakers. You get five to make enough to make five shakers, also. So let's pull one of these out, so we can make a shaker. Okay, so what you're going to do on this one is you're going to um, this is this has so you want this side up. Okay, this is there, you can see the ledge there that your, your shaker stuff's gonna go in there. And then on the outside, it has the same thing where you just kind of bend it just a tiny bit to release the sticky and just peel it off. Okay, and then you're gonna stick this down inside your little mold thing there. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna put our shaker stuff in there. And I just pulled out a little bottle of something that looked okay to match with my, um, cause I'm using garden party paper right here. Um, it had a few little balls, but I wasn't sure this was deep enough for these little bit bigger ball, uh, gold balls. So I pulled those out. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna drop them in there in the center. Try not to get them on the sticky. Hopefully I didn't if I got one on the sticky. Okay, let me see if I can pull these out with just my fingers or if I'm gonna need to get tweezers. So if you have a hard time with uh, um, what you call it, shakers, this is a super easy way to do it, and you you know you get this beautiful scalloped edge. Okay, I'm just gonna take that like that. Okay, so there's my shaker stuff inside there. I didn't put a whole lot because I wanted it to move around a little bit. Okay, so I can do it like that. Okay, now we're gonna need another one of these shapes. So we're gonna take this again. It's the same one that you use for the puppy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna um, cut out around the die again. Just cut a circle. Just, you know, barely bigger than the, than the die. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my little cutting, the cutting um, plate. Yeah, I should have had this ready before I started the other part. That's okay. You can do it either way. Okay, so I'm just going to press down. Now, now I'm die cutting, so I'm going to do this fairly... Um, you know, a fairly heavy press down, and I kind of rotate it about four times, just kind of like I go like a quarter of a rotation or something. You don't have to do that, but sometimes it doesn't cut through. I just find it easy just to just go ahead and do it from the beginning so you don't have to worry about it not popping out okay so there's my shape again okay and now on this one so we're gonna put this in here but on this one you want to put the sh the color that you want to show through on the front of the shaker um, is the is the part you're gonna put down so in the direction it'll tell you to put it upside down okay so whichever one you want to show through that um, you know, to be the backing in your shaker, that's the side you're going to want to put down. Okay, so it's kind of you're turning your your paper upside down, and then you just take it and line up your scallops right there like that. Put that in there. Again, take your top piece, just line up these two little tabs. It just just like sits in there. You don't have to even doesn't even just barely you know sits on top. Okay, take this again. Spin it over here and put this in here and just kind of press down. It doesn't take a lot. You don't want to totally smash it or break your thing. So I'm not, I'm not putting, you know, anywhere near the, the strength into that one like I do when I'm doing the die cutting. Okay, then you just pull it out. Take it out. Boom. A puffy shaker. So this backside is puffy. Look how cute that is. So I made a couple other ones already. So I made this one. This is the first one I made. So it's got um, like a black and white um, shown through here. Okay. So this one is going to come out white each time. Okay. Because... Um, that's just the color of here. Okay, so your inside backing where, where your shaker mix is is going to be the color part. Now, if you want to, um, what I did, I took this one, and so I made, you know, had my, my pretty pattern paper inside there. This one I used tiny little mic, um, micro beads in here, so they go around real easy. And I wanted to, you know, make it some other color. So I took um, my ink. I just took some of my, um, I used my Tim Holtz uh, Distress Oxide. This is picked raspberry. And I just inked all around. So now I have, you know, some more color. And then I can, of course, decorate this or, 
you know, whatever I want to do. You, this would be pretty as a center again, like for another, as part of a rosette. Um, you know, like you have a big rosette, you could like use it in the center, like that. Make it a shaker, look how fun that is. And then, of course, you can just decorate it, make it embellishment, just what, however you want to do it. Put a word across it, you know, just gorgeous. So I love this also. I love them both. So fun. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. So in hopefully encourage any of you who have it and haven't used it yet, like me, <laughs> to, um, it's super easy to use and make all these cute little flares and then now um, these other things. Now they have also different shapes. I think they have a rectangle, um, not in this puffy, but in the regular, you know, for the regular flares. They have um, a rectangle, and I think they have. I think they have an oval, and they have a heart. I'm gonna get the heart next because I think that'll just be gorgeous. So, anyway, I thought this was so fun, so I wanted to share it with you and help encourage you guys to get yours out and use it. Or if you haven't got one, you know, maybe you're gonna want to purchase it. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't work for. Um, for We Are Memory Keepers, but I love their products, and I just want to share this with you um, on how to do it and how easy it is and, you know, give you some pointers. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Oh, and then I should mention, I when I bought mine, I bought two more, okay? So, I have two more of these um, the sets that, um, if anybody's interested, you could purchase from me. Um, the set, the whole set, is $24 okay plus shipping so you get in the set um, you get the the die and you get this piece that you use to make it okay and then you get all these little other things that I shared with you that is enough to make five shakers and five of the puppies okay so <coughs> that set is uh, 24 <coughs> I forgot to share with you also that they do and then you can get the refills which i bought refills so this is what the refills look like so this is the shaker refill and you get 15 so you can make 15 of those and then i also got the puffy refills and it says 30 pieces but since you use two pieces on this so I'm, I'm thinking that probably makes 15 because you need the foam piece and you need the sticky piece. That's, that's what I'm guessing on these. So I bought a set of three of these also. So if you guys need refills, um, <coughs> um, I have two more refills of two more of each of these. So I have two of the set, two of each refill that I have extras of. They're, they're ex the refills are $9 each plus shipping. So just to let you know that, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, or if I wasn't clear on anything, just let me know. Um, I'm happy to answer. So um, leave your questions below. Let me know what you think. Have you got a button maker? Have you tried yours? <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.